hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bennett from gsm promise today i want to show you guys how to get your iphone unable to activate fix using the newly released version of gsm Ajar software now all credit to gsm Ajar for this software in this video i'll show you guys how to use it to bypass the broken baseband problem or the unable to activate screen um, without any difficulties now if you are new to this channel kindly hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified anytime i upload the content like this and if you are old to this channel Thanks for coming back once again. Starting with the step one, which is generate activation. To generate the activation files, we first need to connect our device in normal mode or let it be on the unable to activate screen. And then you go ahead and download these necessary files. I'll leave the link to these files in the description. Once you are done with the downloading, you extract or unzip these two files into separate folders. Just as you can see in the video, once the extraction is done, you first open the GSM Ajar RAM Bridge tool and then double click the tool to launch it while the device is connected in normal mode. Once you, the tool launches, while the device is connected, you go ahead and tick the uh, normal mode and then click on detect device. Once the device displays the phone's information, you are going to go ahead and copy the ECID number. Once you're done with the registration, you tick the no change serial number option as you can see in the video and then you click on the button that says no serial number change as you can see in the video. Once you click on that, this will generate the activation files for our device. As you can see, it says congratulations. Now the activation files have been generated successfully. Now you close the app, the software and move to the step 2 which says pawn with Gasta. Now to pawn with Gasta, we have to put the device into DFU mode. While the device is connected in normal mode, you press and hold both power and then the volume down 5 and 7 and above. When the device goes blank, you release the power whilst holding the volume down to boot into DFU. Now once you see that the device is in, is in DFU mode, you release the, vo uh, the volume down as well. Now once you are done with the DFU or once the device is connected in DFU, you want to go ahead and open the folder or the extracted files again and open the Gasta files this time around and then launch the Zadik tool. Once the tool is launched, you want to go ahead and click on options and tick list all devices and then choose, choose the Apple mobile device. Choose that and then change the driver to libusb and then replace click on replace driver this will replace the apple driver to libusb driver for us to be able to pawn the device this will also take some time to install so you wait patiently once the installation complete you want to go ahead and minimize the zadik tool and then open your device manager to check if the driver is successfully installed. You have to see it under lib USB driver. As you can see, you click on lib USB and see it. Once you're done, you close the device manager and open the Gasta folder and click CMD here. Now you have to input this command gasta.exe space pawn. Just as you can see in the video. And hit enter once the device is pawned successfully you are going to see a message saying now you can boot on trusted images i'm going to highlight that in the video as you can see once you are done with that you are going to go ahead and then open the device manager again and uninstall the driver from lib usb you delete or you uninstall it once you uninstall it you have to click on actions and then scan for hardware changes to see if the driver is uninstalled correctly. If it doesn't go through, you have to follow the same step again to uninstall. And maybe two um, for the third time, for, or for the second or for the, uh, the third time, it's going to go through. 
Now, as you can see, for the second time it went through, the driver switched from leave USB to the Apple mobile device USB. So now we are done with the step 2, moving on to the step 3, which says boot RAM disk and activate the device. Now, while the device is connected in DFU mode and in PON, you launch the GSM Agile software again. Once the tool launches, we are going to go ahead and click on device, detect device. And then you choose the iOS version. You tick that. Mine is iOS 12 to and iOS 15, so you tick 12 to 15. And once you tick that, you click on boot RAM disk. This will download the RAM disk file for your device. In my next video, I'll show you guys how to download the RAM disk file manually and put it in the uh, RAM disk folder. But in case you don't download the RAM disk file, you are going to go ahead and just click on the boot RAM disk. This, the tool will just automatically download the RAM disk file for you to proceed with the boot. Okay, so the file is downloaded complete, uh, completely so you are going to go ahead and click on boot to ram disk this will boot the device this will boot the ram disk Okay, so now the booting. Now the RAM disk booting is successfully. So you click OK and then you click OK again. And then you tick on the no change serial number option. You tick on that. And then you click on activate no change serial number. And then you click yes. If you follow this process, you click yes. And then you click no. If you don't follow this process and you rather use jailbroken method or you use jailbreak method. So you click no if you don't use this um, process. So this will just activate the device and as you can see the bypass is almost done. They are just asking you if you want to turn on airplane mode, yes or no. You just click yes if you want, click no if you don't want that. And then you click no. Now the bypass is completed. Now in some cases or for some reason the device might fail to boot automatically. You have to press the power button to turn on the device 